Hello there everyone, ABC 13 meteorologist Elise Smith here. Central Texas just experienced one of its worst flooding disasters since the flood of 1987. So I wanted to go ahead and take a moment to walk you through how this event unfolded from a meteorological perspective. Now the overall weather pattern that formed into the early morning hours of July 4th and then lingered over the long holiday weekend is something called a mesoscale convective vortex. And this mesoscale convective vortex formed because of a couple of different things. One, the region had high tropical moisture from actually three different factors. One being the remnants of berry, the second being the remnants of flossy, and the third being a low level jet that pulled in high moisture levels from the Gulf. That moisture is what showers and thunderstorms are able to tap into to grow in number and size. And eventually, all those factors considered, we were able to see an upper level low develop over central Texas. And that's what allowed for the daily showers and thunderstorms to develop not only Friday, but into Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday. The reason why it lingered is because there was nothing in the weather pattern to move it. Typically when we see these MCVs develop across the Midwest or the Plains, the jet stream will pick up and move it. But because we don't have any of that around us here in Southeast Texas, that's why it was able to stall and linger and continue to exacerbate the already existing flood threat. Now, something else I just wanna point out is some of the other factors around this flood event. One, it was a busy holiday weekend. It hit in the middle of the night for that first initial wave of flooding. You also have topography and terrain that lends itself to flash flooding because of the hilly terrain and the makeup of the soil. It's a limestone that acts like natural cement leading to excessive runoff instead of that rainwater being able to permeate into the ground. Of course, our hearts and minds are with those who have been impacted by this catastrophic flood in Central Texas and we will continue to bring you the latest on ABC 13.